good morning to everyone coming to chapter number 2 here it is continuous wave radar so in this chapter i am going to discuss about doppler effect and continuous wave radar block diagram so how the doppler effect is occur and the principle of doppler effect is how it is applicable to continuous wave radar simply here the basic uh, function of this continuous wave radar is it is to find out the moving target indication okay so moving target indication means we are transmitting a signal from the radar station it is continuously going to transmit and such signals are transmitted into the space through the transmitting antenna after that they are intercepted by the target then after intercepting the signals are scattering so some of the signals or some of the portion of the scattered signals are received at the radar receive station okay and there is a what are the signals are received at the radar receive station in that there is a change in frequency is occur so that change in frequency nothing but doppler effect so how the change in frequency is occur and how it is applicable to continuous wave radar block diagram so let us go through the this ppt so here continuous wave radar continuous wave radar means so it is transmitting the signal in a continuous manner or continuously it is transmitting the signal the signal is like this is the continuous signal it is continuously going to transmit the signal through the antenna transmitting antenna okay with a frequency f naught with a frequency f naught so this continuous wave radar is transmitting the continuous wave signal in the space and this signal is reaches to the target and intercepted by the target and then is reflected back means there is a change in frequency so due to that change in frequency there will be a frequency shift uh, change in frequency nothing but frequency shifting is occur that frequency shifting appearing in that particular signal that is reflected signal here we are saying it as doppler effect okay so let us come to this first point as i told you here in continuous wave radar the radar transmits a continuous wave so this is the continuous wave signal here like this with a frequency of f naught in continuous wave radar is used to measure relative velocity of the target why we are measuring the relative velocity because of the target is in moving condition not at stationary with respect to the radar with respect to the radar it is in moving condition so we have to find out the velocity of the target with respect to the radar so here one of the major concept here it is we are going to discuss about that is Doppler effect or Doppler principle. So here Doppler effect is nothing but when the target is moving, when the target is moving related to the radar, it will result in an apparent shift in carrier frequency of the received signal. Shift in carrier frequency of the received signal. So the received signal frequency will be changes. The changing mechanism here, that effect is here, it is called as Doppler effect. So how it is changes? So what are the factors are there available in changing uh, received frequency, received uh, signal frequencies? Let us go through that. So here let us observe this following diagram. Here we are observing two observers. We are going to make two observers here. 
this is the here this is the observer one and here observer two okay let us observe here this is the low frequency signal and this is the high frequency signal so how it is low frequency signal how it is a, a format as a high frequency signal and go through this particular diagram this is your uh, here it is a ambulance it is continuously making signal continuously making the sound signal so here in between these two observers the ambulance approaches observer 2 then the frequency of ambulance in sound is in increasing towards the observer 2 okay and the ambulance is away from the observer 1 so the sounding frequency signal are the from are the frequency signal it is sound frequency signal from the observer 1 it is decreases so here it is having low frequency here it is having higher frequency why because the ambulance is making continuous signaling so it is a continuous signal is going here so it is moving towards this observer 2 so the frequency in sound is increasing order so means there is a change in frequencies here the vehicle is away from the observer 1 so the change in frequency here frequency range is decreases here the change here the vehicle is moving towards the observer 2 here the frequency range is increases so there is a change in frequency is occur nothing but here we are saying it is a doppler frequent doppler effect so using this principle we are going to discuss about doppler frequency and derive the doppler frequency okay let us consider the radar setup here so this is the transmitting antenna and this is nothing but moving target okay and in here this by using this transmitting antenna we are transmitting the signal continuously that continuous signal nothing but this is the continuous signal as i told you in first slide so this is like a continuous signal this continuous signal with a transmitting into the space by the transmitter antenna with a frequency f naught and after transmitting this signal the signal reaches to the moving target and it is intercepted by this moving target and it is scattering in all direction and some of the portion will be reflected back to the radar receiver station so here the frequency will be changes that here the frequency will be changes that change is nothing but Doppler frequency and also here observe here the transmitter frequency is also observed by this particular received echo signal and here the R is the distance between the moving target and radar transmitting antenna it is in a free space okay so let us come to this first point let us see the equations we here we are going to we are going to see the two way propagation okay two way propagation means here that is the one is the transmitter one is the transmitter section transmitting the signal into the space and another one is the other one is receiving a signal to the radar station so this is the one path and this is the second path so that's why he says it is the two way propagation Therefore, the total number of wavelength in two way path is equal to 2r by lambda, where 2 is representing the two way propagation. And here, the wavelength with respect to this uh, 2 pi, so then the total phase shift is pi equal to 2 pi into 2r by lambda in radians. Okay? If the target is moving, then r and pi continuously changes if the target is moving then r is also changes why because if the r is the distance between the radar station and the moving target if the target is moving towards that radar receiver station so it is in decreasing order the range is decreasing order suppose the target is moving away from the junction it is in increasing order 
if the target is the moving target is moving towards the receive station so this frequency will be changes this frequency will be occur so this is the reflected frequency f0 plus ft if the moving target is moving away from the radar receive station away from the radar receive station then the frequency reflected frequency nothing but f0 minus efd where f0 is the transmitted frequency minus fd fd is the Doppler frequency okay so here based on this based on this reflected signal we can assume the target is moving towards the radar station if the target is in moving condition as you know r and phase are continuously changing next so here as change in change in phase with respect to to time is equal to the frequency as a change in phase with respect to to time is equal to frequency equal to frequency so the doppler angular frequency omega d is given by omega d equal to 2 pi fd where fd is the doppler frequency that is equal to d pi d pi by d phi by dt so here substitute the phi value in this particular equation d by dt of 4 pi r by lambda so here common uh, common common uh, variable is 4 pi by lambda so dr by dt here the moving target is moving condition with respect to time if the target is moving condition then r is also variable the target is moving towards the junction to uh, sorry, toward the radar station so then r will be decreases if the target is moving away from the radar station the r will be increases so finally we are getting the angular frequency omega d equal to 4 pi vr by lambda where vr is the relative velocity of the target with respect to radar and fd is the doppler frequency in H. Here the relative velocity is given as Vr equal to V cos theta. Here the cos theta means angle of the signal reflected back to the radar resistor station. So this is the transmitting angle. This is the moving target here. Where V is the speed of the light and theta is angle made by target trajectory and line joining. Where theta is 0, theta is 0 means here we are transmitting the continuous signal into the space by the transmitting antenna through the through the transmitting antenna into the space. This signal is hit intersected by the target and it is scattering and some of the portion will be received to the radar restriction. So at this case, at that case, it is having some angle with respect to velocity so that theta suppose that theta is equal to 0 degrees 0 degrees so then substitute this value in equation here so fd is maximum fd is maximum that is equal to 2 into v by lambda so here the theta value 0 means cos cos 0 is nothing but equal to 1 cos 0 is 1 so fd is maximum that is equal to 2 dot 2 into v by lambda similarly so when the uh, angle made with the tar trajectory target trajectory is zero means the signal is going like this to the radar receiver antenna suppose the angle is made by 90 degrees 90 degrees so then the signal is going in this way away from the or other direction of this from the receiving antenna so here theta is 90 degrees so there is no reflected signals are received or the, there is no echo signals are receiving at the radar receiving antenna why because the signals are having 90 degrees phase shift 90 degrees then ft minimum the minimum it is nothing but cos cos 90 so here substitute the value theta value cos 90 equal to 0 
substitute the value in this equation angular frequency uh, doppler frequency fd equal to 2v into 0 by lambda total it is 0 so fd minimum is 0 so that is the basic concept of the doppler system how the doppler frequencies occurs and that frequency will be applied to this here particular continuous wave runner so using this here using the doppler concept now we are going to discuss about the block diagram of cw radar in detail so let us see here continuous wave radar transmitter with respect with the frequency of f naught and this is the transmitting antenna this is the target here it is in moving condition it is detector to uh, comparing this particular uh, request signal to the radar receive station and here transmit signal combined with these uh, and also again the transmit signal is a uh, uh, input as the uh, detector by comparing these two signal finally it is generating the signal is doppler frequency signal and here the transmitting antenna is act as both transmitter as well as receiver so here we are using the transmitter uh, here we are using antenna nothing but it is a duplexer the duplex is performing both actions such as transmitter action as well as receiver action and here the beat frequency amplifier the beat frequency amplifier nothing but it was reject the or eliminate the unwanted signals that unwanted signals are nothing but stationary target signals stationary target signal stationary target signal nothing but if the target is in stationary condition there are some of the signals are referred back to the radar receive station. Such type of signals are eliminated by this beat frequency amplifier. For example, uh, instead of house here, there is a building. It is a fixture position. So fixture position means the, the reflected signals are having the frequency as equal frequencies. Equal frequencies having the reflected signal. Then the beat frequency signal is rejecting such type of signals here. Suppose here the target is in moving condition. The target is moving condition. The target is moving means towards the radar receive station. So at time to time, the frequency shifting, the frequency will be shifted. So then the, then the Doppler effect will be occur. Such type of signals are here allowing here. The bit frequency amplifier. And finally, it is transmitting at the radar indicator. Indicate means it is a frequency meter or like it is a earphones, earphones. Okay, coming to the continuous uh, uh, CW radar here. The continuous uh, transmitter, uh, sorry, the, C, the CW radar is transmit the signal into the space with a frequency of F naught. So here, the transmitter generates a continuous oscillation of frequency F0 and it's radiated by the antenna. Here, it will transmit the continuous wave signal with a frequency of F0 and it is radiated, by, radiated into the space by the antenna. So the transmitter signal hits the target. Of the transmitter, it, the transmitter signal are continuously going into the space if there is a target is available, it is hitting on the surface of the target and then it is intersected and scattering the signal in a all direction. Some and sum of energy reflected back in the direction of radar. Some of the signals are reflected back in the direction of radar. Such is nothing but F, F0 plus R minus MD. So the echo signal is collected by the receiver antenna if the target is in motion the target is in moving condition the echo signal frequency will be changes okay the echo signal is collected by the the echo signals are collected by the receiving antenna here if the target is in moving condition the echo signal frequency will be changes so if the target is approaching the echo signal frequency is f not plus FD. If the target is receding means moving away from the radar station, so then the 
frequency is f naught minus f d. Okay. So this is the signal here. This is the plus. Uh, that, that's why he he mentioned here f naught plus or minus f d is the reflected signal to receive at the radar receiver station. If the target is moving towards the radar receiver station, then we are having the frequency signal is f naught plus f d. Suppose the target is moving away from the junction, away from the radar receiver station, then the reflected signal frequency is nothing but f naught minus f d. That's why he is mentioning here f naught plus or minus f d. And here the antenna is act as both transmitter section as well as receive section. Here we can use here single antenna. This single antenna is performing the both actions. For that he can say he says it is a duplexer antenna. The duplexer antenna means already known that in previous classes the duplexer antenna is performing both transmitter section as well as receiver section. Okay. After radiating the signal, the radi the re radiating signals are received at the radar receiver station at detector, as well as the reference signal that is transmitted signal is also given to the input of the detector. By mixing the reflected signal and the reference signal mixing here, the reflected signal and uh, the reflected the the reference signal, the reference signal is observed at the reflected signal, then this signal and here the ref reference signal frequency and the here reflected, reflected uh, transmitter signal frequency is here, both are cancelled to each other, but finally he, he, it is generating, the detector is generating Doppler frequency. Okay. And then the Doppler frequency is applied to the beat frequency amplifier. Here, the beat frequency is also called a coupler amplifier and it eliminates the echoes from stationary target. Such stationary object signals are not required. Okay. Here, the beat frequency is nothing but Doppler amplifier. Doppler amplifier, it is eliminates the echoes from stationary target like buildings hills like that such stationary object signals are not required so finally the bit frequency amplifier is generating the output as doppler frequency signal this doppler frequency signals are nothing but towards from the uh, which is related to the moving target indication frequency signal which are given to the input of the indicator here so here it may be a ear for or frequency meter. For here FD is used to measure the relative velocity of the target. Okay, this is the basic concept of this particular continuous wave radar block diagram. And one more point here: here the transmitter signal is very high power signal here, but the reflected signals are having very low power signal. For that at the out at the receiver section he use amplifier the amplifiers are boost of the are increasing the power levels of the particular reflected signal that's why in all stages amplifiers are used in the receiver section for the improving the strength of the signal to generate or to analyze the signal based on that we can easily find out the, the target is available in the space or not so this is the basic concept of the Doppler effect, how the Doppler effect is uh, occur and based on the Doppler effect, how that principle will be applicable to the continuous wave radar block diagram and coming to the continuous wave radar block diagram, what are the modules here and those modules are what can it be performed here, the uh, CW radar transmitter, transmitter means that is the transmit the signal, that signal is continuous wave signal. That continuous wave signals are transmitted into the uh, radiated into the space by the transmitting antenna. So here the antenna is used it as duplexer. It performs both transmitter as well as receiver.
after transmitter that are ready in the signal such signals are reaches to the target and these are intercepted some of the portion are received at the radar receive station but the what are the signals are received at the radar receive station such frequency signals are having some frequency shift from uh, having some frequency shifting levels because of the target is in moving condition so due to that the doppler effect will be occur okay those signals are received at the radar receive station by the same antenna and similarly we are applying reference signal to the uh, receive section that is in a detector so by combining these by mixing those two signal here the detector is finally generating the signal that is doppler frequency signal so here the bit frequency amplifier is also called as doppler 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 concept doppler frequency amplifier here the doppler frequency amplifier is eliminating the stationary signal stationary echo signal stationary related echo signals are nothing but if any stationary object is available apart from that echo signal it is rejected so such type of signals are not required here why because we are measuring velocity of the moving target is the major point of here okay next applications of the continuous wave radar determine the speed here one of the best application is determine the speed of the target such as automobile shells guide missiles etc and so on so here it is used to detect moving target also it is used to detect moving targets and here advantages it has low transmission power and low consumption and simple circuit and small size these are the applications and advantages of continuous wave radar